was Miss Keisha. I just can't let this go. So I got to thinking, maybe I need to do a video to help people out there that might be feeling the same way. My name is Keisha Martin and I'm a licensed professional counselor with Venus Springs. Welcome to the channel. If you're new and stopping by, hi. This channel is devoted to all things mental wellness. So stick around. I'm hoping that you might learn something. I'm gonna ask you some pretty deep questions that'll tickle your noggin and hopefully offer you some fair insight, if I do say so myself, that'll help you begin to move forward and let things go. So buckle up kiddos, let's get started. What do you say to someone who is stuck in the past, living in regret, wants to move forward, but just doesn't seem like they can? Or maybe that's where you are. Maybe you wanna let things go and you just feel like you can't move forward. Well, I would tell you, and I would tell that other person that you're probably wasting some brain space that you could be using for other things. First question I have for you is, do you know if you were to change anything in the past, what would be different for you right now? or how would it impact you right now? Can you answer that question? If you can, you're a wizard. So think about it. If you went left instead of right, who's to say you wouldn't end up right where you are right now? Maybe some circumstances might be a little different, but really we can't answer that question. So let that one simmer a bit as you try to explore what it is that you're going through in order to try to improve things and move forward. Now, what I would encourage you to do is think about now, what are you grateful for? Right? Rather than thinking about the regret and what went wrong or how you could have done things differently, think about, okay, well, what am I grateful for as a result of those choices? Right? Sometimes it might take a little bit, a little stretching, but I bet if you give it some time, you'll probably find something. So the next little piece that I have for you also comes in the form of a question. So what is holding on to whatever you're holding on to serving you right now in this moment today? How is it helping you? So now, instead of saying, what if I had only asked yourself, what did I learn? How am I going to make a different choice now? And how am I going to move forward? Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's not that easy, right? But just bear with me, okay? Sometimes this stuff sinks in and it doesn't hit you until later and you'd be like, oh, I got it now. So stick it out. The next big hurdle are those why questions. Why did I do this? Or why did it have to be that way? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When you get stuck in the why, you get stuck in the past. You get stuck in the feeling associated with that regret or whatever choice you made. So reframe it and say, instead of why, what can I do with what I've gained from this experience? Now, this is just a personal opinion. I feel that oftentimes people get stuck in the past and live in regret is because they have a misconception about forgiveness. When someone says, forgive yourself, a lot of people think it's a one-time thing. It's bada bim, bada boom, but it's not. So forgiveness is one of those things that you have to work on regularly. Whenever that junk comes up, whenever you're in the past, whenever you're stuck, you got to make the choice to forgive yourself. So sometimes we have to really just sit with it and let ourselves feel what we're going to feel and then go through those questions. Okay, well, what is it doing for me right now? How is it helping me? And what can I do with it? I would encourage you to take that into consideration when you're thinking about things you're trying to let go or when you're feeling stuck in the past. You can't wait around to magically get over these things, right? And I think that sometimes we do that. We're like, oh, well, let's just give it time or it'll go away. Well, that's BS, okay? We have things that we have to live with, choices that we've made, mistakes that we've made in the past that are going to come up inevitably. So rather than you know, allowing it to dictate how you feel about yourself right now, you gotta check yourself, right? You gotta say, okay, well, I'm right here right now. How's this helping me? What is it doing for me? And what can I learn, right? If this is coming up for you, maybe there's a reason. And so making an effort to just work on forgiving yourself, showing yourself some compassion, being patient with yourself. That's another thing, man. People just beat themselves up. Like, why am I not over this already? Or why is this still coming up for me? <sighs> You know, maybe because you haven't forgiven yourself or maybe there's something that you still have to learn from it. So in conclusion, forgiveness. Ask yourself, what did you learn? Ask yourself how it's helping you. See and focus on what you're grateful for. And if you need a little help with that, CYH. And if you don't know what that is, check out my other videos. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. If you enjoyed this content and you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, as always, leave them down below. And I will see you soon.